YouTube, taking advantage of the family being on vacation until they come home in the next probably 15, 20 minutes here. Uh, this is the 60 gallon display tank in the kitchen. Uh, I had just seen it yesterday, which I'll post a picture if I've got one. Um, had just seen it yesterday, it was pretty much a mess with all the algae on the front, the water was yellow, a lot of detritus built up over the rocks, the rocks were buried in the sand, there was no background structure to it at all. Um, Nothing wrong with that, it's just had to be cleaned. So I went through and gutted it and drained it down and uh, I think I did a 40 gallon water change, 45 gallon water change on it, um, which is not the proper idea to do uh, in a normal reef tank, but with just your saltwater fish with just the couple options you have, as long as you're making sure those water parameters are going in um, fairly close to what they were coming out, obviously without all the waste, you should be okay. So did the water change, clean it all out. Looks really clear, looks really nice. The fish seem happy. Um, it's a good, simple, basic display. Plastic plants um, and live rock. There isn't much to it. I also have a hang in the back filter and a heater, which is nice to have. I highly recommend if you've got a saltwater tank, get a heater and keep that puppy up to about 78 to 80. Um, definitely helps with bugs and parasites, but I also added the ZooMed 75 canister filter, which I've had in, I want to say an unboxing video sometime last year uh it's just been kind of floating around in the basement found it got it all suited up brought it upstairs plugged it in leaked all over the place water gushing everywhere i had no idea what to be able to do double checked it turns out it's the uh gasket on the actual uh right there there's a little cap to be able to open up so you can help prime the canister well that thing was puffing up air and shooting out water probably i'd get about a gallon every two minutes um, so that wasn't good. That's not what you want. Canister filter with 60 gallons leaking all over the floor would be a bad thing. So I took some electrical tape and wrapped that puppy up and it seems like it's holding the, the water pressure pretty, pretty good compared to what it was. So keep that in mind. Zoomed canister filter definitely leaks through that little seal. Um, we have two clownfish, two Popeye squirrelfish, a yellow tang, and a Spanish hogfish that are the originals inside this aquarium. Um, as of yesterday, the newest additions are a Lawnmower Bloody, which he's panicked. He thinks he's going to get eaten, so uh, he's watching out for the squirrel fish, which I have no idea how that would go. Uh, we also have a pincushion urchin, which is doing his job, taking care of the detritus on the rocks, which is exactly what I was hoping he would help with. And then we have an orange spot rabbit fish that just doesn't want to come out yet. Um, all these guys were picked up from my local Petco, of course, my own Petco of choice, because I know the animals that are coming out of there are doing okay or at least the ones that aren't doing okay, I, I avoid those. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really about it. Real basic, easy, simple setup. I get a lot of people that come in and go, how hard is it to really set up a cell water aquarium? It's not that hard. I did a 40 gallon water change in a matter of an hour and a half and changed it all out. You could have set up a 40 gallon tank in that amount of time. Uh, how fast it'll cycle, uh, that's gonna vary. The more live rock you have, the merrier. It's supposed to be a pound per gallon, and obviously it gets expensive. If you're looking at most retail shops, sell it for about $6.99 a pound. And before you get to your 60 gallon or your 60 pound weight limit, you're already spending way more than you actually hoped you'd spend on rock in your life. Um, look around you. There are plenty of people that actually will help you out with that. You can find cheap live rock all the way down to about $1.75 a pound, which makes the hobby a lot easier to give a shot. Um, the biggest thing you're looking at is mixing up your salt measuring your salt, and that's it. There's not really much else to it. Now, when you noticed, obviously, when I had the 90 gallon tank, with all the coral, the different shrimp, the different anemones, the different crabs, everything needed something separate in that tank, and with all the ways it was being produced by all that life, I had to make sure my equipment was top notch. But this is just a couple cool looking fish and a sea urchin, you know? It isn't much to it. You don't really have to worry about a whole lot. So, water change once a month, Take out about 20%, mix up some new salt, go and refill it. Doesn't have to be this big headache that you, that everyone automatically assumes it'll be. So the hardest part is finding the right combination of fish that'll get along with each other and making sure that they're coming from a healthy source. Um, but that is the most difficult part because you can ruin an entire aquarium, which is why it's highly, highly recommended to have a quarantine setup. I do not. I have had quarantine setups on and off over the years, but uh, I definitely recommend it if you want to take the risk at ruining your entire system because one fish was unhealthy and you can't even blame the pet shop. It's just like you going out to some random country you're not familiar with and coming back with a bad cold. Well, these fish are coming from all over the world. Sri Lanka, the Indo-Pacific, the Caribbean, you never know what they're going to bring with them and what they're not or what they're introducing to the new system that you have set up. So 
Uh, it's been going on for decades in human civilization. <laughs> it's the same idea. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. That's really all I got for it. I'm definitely going to keep these videos going out when I have tanks set up and looking better. I'll go through and make sure I do a review for them. So, uh, any questions, thoughts, wonders about setting up your own tank, post them on below. Send me some messages or if you want to hear anything specific, let me know as well. And I'll see you guys. Of course, now you want food. I'll see you guys next time.